buildup continues week by week with little resistance from the enemy. Small groups of destroyers have been spotted, and our air forces ended up harassing them. One destroyer was sunk on June 8, 1942. Ultra does report that there are Japanese forces mustering, however, and that they may attempt to break into the Java Sea and cause havoc. One thing that has puzzled Allied commanders thus far is where are the enemy carriers? If they do sortie out, they will be a serious challenge for our forces in the area. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of War on the Sea with the Abdubcom mod. Task Force Python here has encountered the enemy, and apparently there's some aircraft out there. I see a formation of four. I am kind of surprised to see aircraft. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of Japanese aircraft. <laughs> I guess I should inform you what Task Force Python is up to here. They are closing in on the Japanese positions near Malaya and that one Japanese Western Forces base because I was curious if we could destroy it. And we have a Miyoko out here, which we are currently engaging. Let's make sure War Spite is engaging the Miyoko. Indeed she is. Firing armor piercing at it. Enterprise. You better, everyone better really just be shooting at the Miyoko. Marblehead, engage this little, no, engage the Miyoko. The Reuter, engage target number one. We have lots of star shells going up as well. I'm surprised to see Japanese aircraft flying, but I must say this is quite the sight looking at this happening. Oh, look at all those zeros go down. This is quite the sight seeing all this happen at night. The tracers look really good at night, don't they? Uh, they're trying to stray force bite. Here we go, here comes another zero right up astern. This was a kind of an experiment. I'm not sure we can even damage the Japanese Western Forces base or destroy it. However, I figured it was worth a shot and we are tearing up zeros left and right. Love to see it. But I figured it was worth a shot primarily because it is so close to Singapore and obviously they have quite a lot of aircraft protecting it. Oh boy, what is, oh no, Paul Jones once again, my boy. Okay, let's begin repairing. Yeah, engage that Momi. The Miyoko, what's our solution? What's worst fight solution on her? Solution 70% actually. Let me adjust the guns. Fire, narrow spreads, please. Armor piercing, armor piercing. Boise, stop engaging that. Engage that Miyoko. Fire, armor piercing. There we go. Enterprise, send some star shells her way. Light up that area. Can't really see much out there. Task Force Python here did rearm. Paul Jones, are we going to have to break you off? Looks like a few fires. She is taking fire as well. I can't believe, probably because she is quite the target with those flames. For a second, I thought one of the Japanese ships was on fire and it looks like there might be. I can see pretty large smoke plumes way out there. Okay, Paul Jones, you are going to break off and begin laying smoke come to port all right yeah it's time to go it's time to go enterprise begin laying some smoke to help protect paul jones okay the miyoko is smoking the miyoko is smoking that is good news good news indeed houston you are engaging the miyoko as well your solution's only 17 percent oh here we go searchlights are starting to flick on let them have it let it rip Paul Jones, keep coming left. You are going to go right down the formation. Or Spite, are all guns able to engage? I hope so. She is taking a good amount of damage. Fires are being worked on though. Miyoko still, there we go, there's a hit. All right, light these guys up. These destroyers are probably lining up to make a torpedo run on us. Or spite you. She's pretty slow right now. Her speed's only at 78%. Let's check her rear guns. Her rear guns are not an arc. Okay, you're going to break off and come left slightly. Let's get those rear guns facing the enemy. Enterprise, come left slightly, cross that T. You can stop. Actually, keep blank smoke. Probably a good idea. 
Paul Jones, let's check on you. Looking good. War Spite. Okay, rear guns are engaging. Why are you not firing? You are firing your secondaries. Send some star shells out their way. Maybe. If you have star shells available, you do not. All right, Boise. Maybe you have star shells. You Indeed, you do. Fire star shells over the target. Let's look at our Miyoko friend. She's sailing. These destroyers are taking quite a bit of damage. I'm sure there are torpedoes in the water. I would not be surprised at this point. This is... Oh, there we go. Good explosion. We are losing contact on all the aircraft. That was a lot of zeros to see at night. I know the Japanese did train to fly and land carriers at dark, at least initially, but it was never really used in practice, if I recall. I could be wrong, though. Let me know. Let's see. Enterprise is taking a beating. Boise, come left. What the heck? Why are you not firing? You better fire armor piercing at that Miyoko. She's on fire. She's on fire. Enterprise. Let's check on you. Don't want to lose you. Okay. You are being targeted. It's time for you to break off. All right. Marblehead. Marblehead, the Reuter, and Houston. Marblehead, the Reuter, Houston. Break formation. Form up. Enterprise, you are going to increase speed and get the heck out of here. Paul Jones is running away. War Spike come left. Boise, you are getting a uh, wee too close. Just a tad, just a tad. However, with you this close, blow that thing out of the freaking water. Send high explosive its way. Engage. Send it straight to the bottom. Our Miyoko friend is looking okay if i'm being honest let's come left slightly with the worst bite i wouldn't mind worst bite being closer to the front line just so she can kind of tank all right rotor midships rear guns and arc yeah there we go beautiful beautiful all right enterprise let's look at you work on the fires while another fire breaks out. Marblehead, looking good. Let Enterprise overtake and come around. And you know what, Enterprise? I'm not gonna deal with the torpedoes, actually. This Momi is not looking good. Boise, engage that Miyoko with all you got. She is a little close. Oh my gosh, I do not like that. Ooh, I do not like that one bit. All right, begin. Hey, that actually sounded a lot worse than it was, let me tell you. Begin laying smoke, though. All right, this Miyoko is lit up like the freaking sun. War Spite, you better be ripping holes into it. There she is. There we go. War Spite searchlights are turning on. Solutions at 50%. War Spite, armor piercing shells. Full spreads, please. Let me just bracket her bracketed her there. You can see splashes all around the uh, this poor Miyoko. Now we need to start turning. Ooh, that was a pretty devastating hit, I feel like. Yeah. Miyoko's not looking good. Shells are screeching over the top of the ship, though. Houston, you're engaging Miyoko. Firing armor piercing. Good, like to see it. Let's send some star shells her way for a bit. Fire those off. Enterprise, what the heck are you doing? I wanted you to come around. If you can. I don't think Enterprise is still being targeted. She has lots of fires on board. Continue to slug it out. You're fine. Miyoko. Miyoko suffered a magazine explosion. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of luck I wanted. War Spite is unleashing hell upon that Miyoko. It looks like she, yeah, her speed is zero. Keep sending it. 
Just keep sending it. Then we'll primary these destroyers and send them to the bottom as well. Uh, looks like this battery... No. You should be able to fire. There we go. Send high explosive her way. All right, Houston, your secondary battery can begin firing high explosive once again. Enterprise, getting that damage under control. We have fire spreading internally, but I think she's going to be A-OK. -okay. Boise's really a trooper. However, I don't like this course you're on. Turn north. Stop blowing smoke as well. How's our Miyoko friend? Uh, her entire bow is a wash. Are these if these turrets are still firing, that would be pretty funny. Looks like she's pretty yeah, definitely dead in the water. She's going to go down. That's one more Japanese heavy cruiser sent down to the bottom. There we go. Got her. She is sinking. She is sinking. Okay. Engage destroyers. Engage destroyers. Engage that Momi. The Reuter. Go ahead and engage that one. Why not? Houston, engage that one. And Warspite, engage this one that's kind of charging our way and mostly on damage. Send, um, send some high explosive her way. Send some high explosive her way. There we go. One more Miyoko going down, though. Love to see it. This one Momi here has certainly seen better days. Uh, she pretty much got <laughs> wiped off the map. I don't think it... Yeah, no magazine explosion or anything like that. Paul Jones, how are you looking? Got out of here pretty quick. There we go. She's going down. Let's check. Okay, quite a bit of flooding. Well, yeah, definitely want to get that under control. You can pursue this one here, however, who is not looking good. All right, Enterprise, engage target four. Everybody engage four. Actually, maybe... We'll wait for this one to go down. Let's check on... Oh, no. We need to just sink all of them. <laughs> just sink all of them. Get rid of them. Uh, I am mean, worried because I did send this task force up here to bombard. War Spite. Hold fire. And Houston, hold fire. Those are our two ships that can bombard. Yeah, hold fire. Because we do want to see if we can knock down these airfields a little bit and slowly start grinding them down. Target number four is sinking, and now it's just up to this one. All right. Blow it out of the water. Well, we lost contact with that one destroyer, so I'm just going to take it and leave it. Confirm. It's in critical shape. Heavy damage. Two command points gained. Continue on. And here, here we are. Japanese Western forces. I'm really just curious if I can bombard this thing. Um, because I do believe the Japanese... Oh boy, we've encountered something else. Let's begin. I'm kind of scared. I'm scared if the AI is going to spawn like a freaking battleship right here. Fire at will, radar on. Let's start. See what's going on. This may be a really horrible idea. Time will tell, though. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, it's this freaking destroyer and all the all these zeros again. Um, that's okay. We toured them up the first time. All right, blow this destroyer out of the water. War spite. Stop firing though. Hold fire on it. And same with Houston. Hold fire. You can illuminate the target, but do not destroy it. And all these zeros, it looks like, are going to come our way. Now I am hoping I can just bombard this thing and drop the airfield to zero. I doubt the game will not all let the Japanese spawn in warships, so there is that, but this may not even be possible. I'm sure those of you that know if it's possible or not are yelling at your uh, your screen, your monitor, or TV, or phone. However, I do not know if this is possible. I've honestly never tried it. This Momi's getting torn up. <laughs> oh, man. And, yeah, her time is certainly limited as our task force charges her down. We are about to face an onslaught of zeros. Our anti-aircraft did pretty good work, though, and took out a fair amount of them. The moon reflections look quite good on the aircraft, I must say. Let's see, who are they going to try to strafe? They may go for Paul Jones. 
This is the target they most likely will do the most damage against. The Momi is dead in the water. She's going to sink. And now it's time to face our aircraft friends. Yeah, there we go. Lots of anti-aircraft going up. Already downed one. Where are they going? Oh, they're going for war spite. Just trying to strafe war spite. Okay. Oh, uh, this is what I'm worried about. Oh my gosh. That's exactly what I was worried about, actually. Those zeros slamming in the war spite's hole. I did not like that one bit. All right, tear them up. There we go. Took quite a few out. Destroyer sinking, obviously. That's good. I have a lot more aircraft coming in. I am worried about one of these zeros hitting more spite or any of our ships, frankly. Like that was awfully close to Houston out there in the background. This is a pretty cool mass air attack though. All right, and they're going in. Force Bite's anti-aircraft is actually doing really... Oh, no. Shit. Force Bite. Okay, damage is critical, apparently, but... It seems she shrugged that off. Okay, work on that. She shrugged that off for the most part. That's good. I was expecting that to be a lot worse than it ended up being. Okay. More zeros coming in. Look at that. Oh, boy. Okay. Again. Way too close for comfort. Shot down a lot of aircraft, though. Let's get this repaired. We are clear to leave the combat area, and you can see the Japanese lost 17 aircraft up here. Okay, let's do this. Bombardment. Ooh. Within 24 kilometers. Okay. Oh, I don't... Th looks like we might not be able to bombard this position. Which makes sense. I still wanted to try it. Try again. Oh my gosh, we could. Level 5, level 5. This may be a total waste of ammunition. Level 5, level 5. Ooh, yeah, I don't think it's going to work, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can knock this down. Okay, it was good to know. It was good to know. How much supply do I have down here? Not a whole lot. Do have this task force moving up to resupply Palembang down there. Okay, well, that was a waste of ammunition. I wanted to see if I could knock it down, and you can not. That's okay. I'm just going to have to make this work. I think to make this work, though, I am going to have to knock Singapore down. So that's where Task Force Basilisk will come in. Come in. Exeter will move up at night and bombard that, knock it down a few ticks, along with Task Force Python here. This turned out to be a waste, but hey, we destroyed a heavy cruiser, so it wasn't all horrible. Convoy AJ-2 down here. You can load on supply, can't you? Come down here. Let's get that taken care of. We have task forces moving to and from this area. Okay. Yeah, we are, we're looking good here, I think. This convoy needs to head back down. I could have sworn I ordered all these to move about. There we go. All right. Well, that's the current plan. That's unfortunate that didn't work. I'm not entirely surprised, but I wanted to find out and uh, it was worth a shot. Bombarding Singapore is going to probably be necessary because I don't I don't have enough fighter aircraft to go up here. And I don't, I think a level five airfield gives them a lot of fighters. This airfield on Malaya is not as worrisome, but it is still a threat. It is certainly within range of a lot of our shipping lanes to Singapore from Betty's and such. So that will be an issue. And this airfield certainly is. This is going to be a problem. It's going to be kind of annoying. We'll see, though. I just realized 
In the previous clip, I ordered Convoy AJ-3 to head back to Darwin, but they do have supply and troops, so they are moving back up north towards Palembang. That was a mistake on my part. That being said, we just unloaded Task Force's Jupiter's supply here at Palembang, so we are up to 2,000 here, slowly kicking off the last bit of Japanese resistance. Task Force 16 is moving up to drop off their supply as well. Look what we have. O-19 has encountered a Japanese carrier task force moving slow because there's a freaking freighter in it. All right, task force Python. This is this is what you're born to do. Okay, head up here. Air cover, um, non-existent. <laughs> uh, three hurricanes. I'm going to hold off on them for the time being. I want O-19. Head south and track this carrier task force. We are going to attempt to force a surface engagement. Task Force Basilisk is going to move this way as well. I want to try to engage down here at night, if at all possible. Brief update on the situation. It looks like the Japanese Carrier Task Force is just heading south. Task Force Python will be able to intercept. I am... It's only 11 o'clock in the morning, though. She's probably going to head south, and if she heads towards Palembang, then Task Force Basilisk will be in the way to intercept as well. We'll see. We got them, folks. We have intercepted the enemy. I have some swordfish in the area from Task Force Vendetta down here. We launched these aircraft at around 1,800 hours, so that's 2,000 hours now. I'm hoping the Japanese will not be able to put up any of their own fighters because it is nighttime. We will see, though, if that goes to plan. Task Force Python, let's begin. Okay, first things first, select everybody. Fire at will, turn on your radar. Increase your speed. Let's go as fast as you can, start. Swordfish are nice and close, which I do appreciate greatly. Okay, cool. That's a lot of Japanese aircraft. All right, blow them out of the sky. Let's take a look at the Japanese formation. Where are they? There they are. Um, that's our target. That's our target. Engage that. War Spite, you better be shooting at that. Engage target number four. Stop, yeah, freaking Congo, fire at that. Boise, you better fire at that. Do not shoot at that stupid merchant. Fire at the Congo, that is intimidating. Engage the Congo. Houston, engage the Congo. Fire armor piercing, send it. The Reuter, engage the Congo. I am worried about, okay, war spite. <sighs> do not like that. Do not fire at aircraft. I do not wor want war spite to get hit by a freaking zero that's crashing into us. Paul Jones, who are you engaging? The merchant, stop. Engage, at least engage one. Swordfish, you need to rush up here immediately. I know Swordfish and Rush is kind of funny. Drop down to the deck, increase speed 124 knots. Let's go. Go get them. You are going to hit that Swordfish with, ev or that Congo, excuse me, with everything you got. Okay, um, unexpected, unexpected. Deploy smoke, deploy smoke. Boise, are you being targeted yet? Doesn't look like it. Marblehead, or excuse me, War Spite is smoking. Are your rear turrets able to engage? That's what I want to know. Negative. Come left slightly and start like smoke. Lay smoke, Marblehead and Houston lay smoke. We need to obscure War Spite. She is just going to aim it using radar. Oh boy, this is quite the fight that is developing. And oh, I don't like that one bit. I do not like that at all. That is a lot. A lot of vowels. Okay. Torpedoes, get ready to fire all of them. Four degree spread. Or four, six degree spread, excuse me. Enterprise, you are just going to have to tank this as best you can. Torpedoes away. Boise, how's it looking? Good. Swordfish are racing in. Closing in on the Congo. 
That's your target. We gotta hit that Congo. She is running away though. No, she's turning back around. The Congo is the primary target. Of course, hitting the carriers would be nice, but the Congo is what is going to inflict the most damage upon our fleet. Enterprise. Oh boy. All right, Paul Jones, go ahead and shoot some star shells over the target. Please. Oh, is Congo going to hit the merchant? Nice. Immersion. Okay, well... <laughs> I'll take whatever help I can get. Enterprise. Turn slightly more. I need Boise and DeRoyter. Break formation. Break formation. Form up. Engage that. Engage that. Yeah, she has some pretty hefty guns on her bow. We need to sink her. Force bite. Hopefully you're doing okay. Check your damage. The bow's a little scuffed up, but... Alright, swordfish are moving around. Quickly. Poor, uh, poor merchant ship is now on fire. Oh my... Oh my gosh. Uh, the Congo has taken out the merchant ship for us, essentially. It just got 15-inch guns right into her superstructure. That's rough. That's that's rough. Okay, I'm not looking forward to this war spite. You need to move. Boise, break left. The Reuter, break left. You need to cover. You need to cover war spite from these valves that are coming in. Okay, swordfish. Keep moving that way. I'll have you swing around and engage that Congo. I bet these valves are going to try to hit war spite, who is suddenly getting hit pretty bad. Force bite. Come right. Come on. All right, swordfish. Come up this way. You're just all going to attack from one side. Because I need you to knock that thing out of action as quickly as possible. All right, Vals are pushing over. On war spite. War spite. Right full rudder. Get out of the way. That's a lot. There's a lot of valves heading for War Spite and Marblehead. Marblehead, turn, turn, turn. Oh, come on, War Spite. Okay. Marblehead was hit. Uh, War Spite was hit. More valves pushing over, heading towards our grand old lady. I am not a fan. Houston is out of some sort of ammunition. Okay, Congo is turning, making it making the job difficult for our swordfish. All right, come around. Oh boy. Or spite. Check on you. Damage control. It's it's not looking good. I, I'm going to have to be blunt <laughs> about it. More valves pushing over, coming in. More bomb hits. Those are minor. Shooting down a few of them. Congo. It's okay. War spite speed at 25%. Damage. Work on the fires. Work on the fires. Work on the fires. We need the fires and the flooding under control. It looks like just one Houston. Left full rudder. Are these going for you? Negative. They're pushing over. They're going for Paul Jones. Paul Jones, right full rudder. Okay, War Spite was hit. That was that was the last group heading for her, I think. Work on the fires. Okay. Swordfish. This is this is quite the battle to manage. Hit that Congo. Hit the Congo. Go get her. Go get her. It's our turn. Paul Jones just got smacked. That's not good. It's our turn. Marblehead, damage control. Enterprise. Okay. All right, swordfish are moving in. Torpedoes away. Torpedoes away. Get out of here. If you're going to go down, go down into one of these freaking carriers, please. Please and thank you. That is... 
you already dropped your torpedoes? You did. This is less than ideal, but that's okay. That is a bad drop. I was hoping for much better. Congo got hit by one, hit by two. There we go, two impacts. Maybe three here. She cut right into him, unfortunately. Wow, that sucks. Another one, three. Okay, come around. Horse bite. Head north. If you can. She turned quite fast, didn't she? Boise, you better still be engaging that Congo. Congo, I mean, she doesn't look great. She does not look great. Paul Jones, how are you looking? Not great either. Marblehead, you're engaging target one. Go ahead and sink her, please. Her north, though. Let's get everyone relined up to fire at and sink the Congo. He's now deploying smoke and running away. He's got to count for something. Okay, the freighter is sinking. Enterprise just got hit pretty bad. War Spite, let's check on you. She's making four knots. She's moving. Make sure. Okay, fires are getting under control. One of our guns is knocked out. Can I have you work on that? No, they're working on these things first. Okay, that's fine. Obviously more important things. The survival of the ship. Marblehead. Unleashing into this cruiser. The seaplane tender, good. What I like to see Enterprise. We're going to lose Enterprise, I think. You're engaging the Congo. A Kagi class. All right, Enterprise. I need to swing around to try to let loose your torpedoes. That swordfish drop was very unfortunate. Okay, okay, one sinking. Marblehead, engage that Akagi. Engage the Akagi. Okay, torpedoes. Marblehead. Two degree spread, solution 58, 64%, get ready. Fire, 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 fire. All right, torpedoes unfortunately got out of arc pretty quickly. Come left, hold. Paul Jones, make sure you're shooting at that Akagi. Coming around. Keep coming around as quickly as you can. Okay, an arc. Fire. All right, swing around more. What the hell? you to engage the Ak Akagi. What are you doing? Uh, I guess that makes sense. Hold fire. Paul Jones, your torpedoes. Can you come left to fire? Keep engaging that Congo. I mean, still firing at us. Horse bite, how are you looking? Still engaging, working on fires. Paul Jones, I need you to get ready to shoot at this Akagi. Three degree spread. The Reuter engaging the Akagi. Boise, engage her. Houston, keep engaging that Congo. Enterprise, keep engaging that Congo. All right, Akagi slowly coming into arc. Getting hit quite a bit. Just tickling her, though. I do not have faith in these torpedoes here. Okay, rudder amidships. Torpedoes. An arc. Coming around. 
fire. If you can. You have three torpedoes. Hopefully she fires them eventually. That would be lovely. All right, Congo. Still gotta keep hitting her. She's starting to look pretty rough. I'm debating having War Spite engage the Akak. No, keep engaging that Congo. Any hit we can get is good. Damage control, critical, critical. She's afloat though. That's what we need. Enterprise, Houston, turn north. Okay, poor Marblehead, poor Paul Jones. Survived all this just to have her torpedoes not fire. Maybe two? There we go, now it's good doing something. But the Akagi's kind of out of arc, so. What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Paul Jones had a magazine explosion and she is unfortunately going down. Let's check on our Congo friend. Running away. Horsebite has to stand here and fight. Horsebite, engage that Akagi. Fire at that Akagi, blow it out of the water. Have lots of damage, but she's starting to get into a pretty good shape. Houston will continue to engage the Congo, doing quite a bit of damage against her, I might add. So I think Warspite engaging the Sakagi and sending it straight to the bottom is a good move. We have torpedoes there. Those have to be ours. Yeah, engage the Akagi, and then we'll engage this other carrier here. Marblehead, kind of just screwing around. We may lose her too. Get out of here. Working on fires all around. She only has four damage control teams. Just not good. Akagi is now getting ripped open. Okay, aircraft are leaving the engagement area. Can't say I, uh, I'm not too worried about them. All right, Congo, how are you looking? Horrible, horrible, about time. Uh, that, that messed up torpedo drop really screwed me. Um. I don't know. The battles like this are hard to ma micromanage, frankly. And uh, that Congo was wiggling around all over the place. She did a good turn, but doesn't look like it'll be enough to save her. Houston and Boise keep just laying it down. How's the Akagi looking? Not good. Not good at all. Speed is at 0% on, on War Spite. Let's work on the gun. Yeah, work on the gun, please. Akagi getting hit quite a bit. The Reuter engaging Akagi as well. May have you start engaging this one here. Yeah, the Reuter, go ahead and engage target number three. Marblehead. That's a too many fires. You need to get out of here. Playing smoke, I, ooh, we may lose Marblehead here. Trading a destroyer and a cruiser for a carrier, a battleship, hopefully a battleship. I don't even want to look at the damage reports right now. Okay, Enterprise is sinking. All right, we've lost Enterprise. We may, I think the only other ship we're really at risk of losing here is Marblehead. Akagi, not looking good. Horse bite, are you continuing to engage? Yeah, bow gun. Can't move. She's dead in the water, so that's all we got. Congo, still hitting her. Congo's moving. 
Congo's moving at 11 knots still. That's okay. Houston seems to be undamaged at this point. Just continuing to pound this thing. How many rounds do we have? 624. We're doing fine. War Spites number two turret is now in action. Let's check. What are we working on here? Propellers are what we are working on. Good, good, good. Um, more vowels. It doesn't look like they have bombs, though. They're just overflying us. That's fine. Let them do that. Ruyo here is looking bad. She is looking real bad. The Reuter is firing upon her. Akagi is not looking very good either. So we'll definitely get two carriers. Let's check on Marblehead. Uh, I believe Congo is actually engaging Marblehead, which explains the, the heavy damage here. Houston is doing A-OK. -okay. Still just trying to hit Congo with all she's got. Same with Boise here. He's doing just fine, engaging with armor piercing. I suppose we could turn south. I, I want to sink this freaking Congo, though. Um, if we check the report here, we can see we have lost two ships here, Enterprise and Paul Jones. Um, these ca this carrier here is done. Both carriers are done, and Congo's in critical shape as well. well. We have a good chance of sinking her. It's just she is quite the resilient ship, especially just going up against two cruisers here. Thankfully, these valves are... Oh, no, they don't have their bombs anymore. All right. The Reuter is doing work. And you know what? I obviously wish I engaged with 019 and knew there was going to be a Congo here, going to be a battleship. However, if I did engage with 019, then this task force would have disappeared off of the campaign map and it would have it would have been hard to track if they changed course or something. Uh, so I wanted to have the surface engagement, but knowing there was a battleship in this task force would have certainly been helpful information. Regardless, this has been a fun fight. Marblehead. Flooding's only heavy. I mean, she's getting it under control here. I want to say. 36 seconds on this. Okay. <laughs> that was that was unhelpful, game. That was not nice of you. Uh, quite a few fires, though. Quite a few fires. I'm hoping we'll be able to save her. Thankfully, the flooding's only heavy. She is just burning a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Congo. Let's take a look at you. Still firing. Houston's still sending it, though. Here we have it. Ruyo is sinking. Beautiful. Now it's just Akagi, who is actually dead in the water, it looks like. The Reuter engaged her. Congo is sinking! There we go, Akagi is seeing it. They all went down at the same time. There we go. Okay. What a victory. Um, unfortunate that we actually lost some ships, but hey, honestly, we should have been losing more ships this entire series. That was that was fun. That was a cool fight. This Congo was unexpected. I figured it would just be seal clubbing uh, Japanese carriers in a surface engagement, but. Uh, the Congo certainly threw a wrench in my plans here. She is slowly going beneath the waves. All right, let's check on the report real quick. 96,000 tons of shipping sent down to the bottom. 32 command points. Wow, that is good. Um, the enemy also lost 22 aircraft. Thus far, we have lost two ships, Enterprise and Paul Jones. Unfortunate loss for both of these. Only 8,888 tons, though. Now it's time to see if Marblehead will be able to make it or if she will go down. Good news, HMS Warspite is now underway. However, turret number four seems to be out of action. Take a look, yeah, turret number four is destroyed, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like Warspite will be heading home to 
I don't know. Do I even, yeah, she'll be heading home to repair. Her, I think the campaign's over for her. She took a lot of damage there, but did work and has recovered. Marblehead is looking like she may be able to recover as well, knock on wood. We're slowly fighting the fires and getting rid of them, which is really reassuring news. Well, folks, look at this. Marblehead with no fires. Damage control teams did their job. This task force is certainly heading back to Darwin at this point. I cannot, I cannot justify keeping them out here with this much damage. So Houston, Marblehead, or Spite are all going into dry dock. Anyway, that was an action-packed episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.